the big. Let's just start off with what everybody's talking about, right? Joe, do you have the clip I sent you? All right. Before yeah. he shows that clip, do you have the clip that I asked you for? Yes. All right, let's start with my stuff disco. first. Okay, my stuff. okay. Our <laughs> stuff's horrible. We can get to your the, stuff. I wanna, this one here, I wanna, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. right. So I want to start off with the last segment on SmackDown, which is the rock and the fallout and everything. But what's lost in that segment is how, what a – okay – uh, bro, you know how like we talk about like when you get the mic. Remember how like when we talked about how how Swerve got popular because he tortured Adam Page on the mic, like just cut. Bro, right. when you can crucify somebody on the mic, right? It's just you know, people just like well, I, I want to hear this guy again, right? Right. And what's what's lost in the WWE over the past like ten years is how good Roman can be on the mic sometimes, right? Okay, bro. This is funny because I found this clip because somebody put this to music, okay? He called, called it, he, you know, Roman ethered Seth Rollins. And, like, well, what he did to Seth Rollins here is, like, I don't know if, how many people cook, cook, cook for a living, okay? But when you want to roast vegetables, okay, you, you, set the, you set the oven to 450 degrees. You put the vegetables in there. And you let them sit for 20, 20 to 25 minutes. You take them out and you got roasted vegetables. They're delicious, right? What Roman did to Seth Rollins here is he, 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 set, the, he set the oven to 500. Wait a minute. Put, put Seth Rollins in the oven and cooked him for like four hours. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is what I also think he did to him. I think he stuck a skewer. <laughs> And you know that rotisserie <laughs> chicken? <laughs> that just, I just kept plugging right. it for temperature and see what the temperature right. was. I'm stabbing it right. Bro, Let me just say wait. this. Before you play this, <laughs> one of my favorite lines that he said on Friday was – Well, that, don't repeat it because we're going to hear it here. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> but, bro, so this, this guy – whatever this, this side is, public whatever, the guy put this to music. Right. And the music is perfect. Okay. Right. So, b- b- Joe, just play this. This is this was this was a classic promo, which is forgotten in the big picture of how good this was because of what happened after the Rock and the Fallout. Okay, right. go, go ahead and start with this. That's enough, Joe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you like it with the, little, the music in the back? Yeah. The, the, that was great. If that the was great music would have been live, it would have been better, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Bro, that was, a, that was an evisceration. Yeah. And you could tell the, the, that Seth, on Monday, did you watch Raw, Conan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was, you know, he was like, but, oh, hey, that was a pop. You know, that, that, mm-hmm. Like, when he got a pop, he was like, yeah, yeah. address it. Like, yeah. bro, that, that, that was, like, like I said, that, that promo right there, been good enough to 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 make. And let me tell you something. Yeah. We're not going to talk about it now, but that in ring between him and I think it was Cody, mm-hmm. and then Drew came out. Right, I didn't right. think that was it was that good compared to well, what well, I saw. In no, no, compared to that. But but what what it did was Cody still hasn't said anything yet. Right, we are, that I understand. And, and, bro, yeah. you know what he was doing. about to they're say just, something. I love that he was about to say something. <laughs> and bro, yeah. they're, they're playing this so perfectly because right. I guarantee, it, like, I don't know what Joe. Go look. Uh, the, the ratings should be out. I'm imagining Raw did a monster number last night because what what the whole thing with the Cody stuff and and, and, right. and Rock, the Rock and everything it generated an emotional response from the Cody fans. Cody's fans were literally upset for a shoot emotionally at what happened. Right. And I did. And like, the, 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 so I want to talk about this. Okay. Cause we'll just talk Nothing about it. Yet. Okay. It's not up yet. It should be mm-hmm. up. At the, really? Well, I'm checking. Look I, I looked at wrestle. I looked at wrestle nomics. Now I'm checking elsewhere. Go, go look elsewhere. Okay. Because the thing is, and like, you know, I, I, to me, this is like I, I, have, I have a theory on this. Going, I know I'm going to give my take, and I want you to hear your your right. take. I was surprised at the outrage. Okay, uh, that that people were just like, "We want Cody the and just the Rock," and I was like thinking, like, like really? It's like, dude, like the Rock has been on TV like three times in the past like two months, and has gotten massive pops every time. 
Like he's an icon. The guy's like the number one guy in Hollywood, worth a fortune. He's arguably one of the one of the, the most legendary performers in the history of the WWE. The guy's the guy's a legend, right? And the Roman Rock match has literally been on the table for like at least two years since this bloodline story started three years ago. Okay, it's been like everybody's been pointing like like this has to be the thing. This this has to be. And like now then when it was presented, like well let, let's face the facts, like. You've been in Conan. How many shows have like? Let me ask you a question, just off the top of your head. I can tell you, for me, I've been in the booking meetings of probably a hundred, at least a hundred shows, where I've sat in a room with either Vince and Ed and Terry Taylor or Vince, Jeff Jarrett and Dutch and stuff. Everything like I've been in a hundred booking meetings, at least, like maybe more. Okay, and when you're presented with with um, unforeseen circumstances. Like, you know, the the Vince thing happened, which Brock Lesnar was collateral damage to that. So Brock Lesnar, because of the, 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 the public perception, had to be taken taken out of the picture for WrestleMania. Punk, who was one of the two favorites to win the Royal Rumble, he lost the Royal Rumble, but he was going to be in a very prominent match, probably the second night WrestleMania main event with Seth Rollins. He got hurt. He's off the table. Okay. Being in that meeting, when you're now looking at your WrestleMania two nights, like WrestleMania is not a one night show anymore where you can just put Rock and Roman and Cody on, right? Now it's two nights. You need a main event for the second night. You've got Rock and Roman, Rock and Cody, or Roman and Cody, excuse me, but you don't have a second night main event. And you're thinking, like, we've got this, we got the Rock here, we've got Rock and Roman on the table, okay, let's. We were telling a story with Roman and Seth, <coughs> or excuse me, Cody and Seth. Okay, what do we do here? And The Rock is like, well, let's just do me and Roman. And I, th- and I thought people would be completely satisfied with that because that's a match people from our generation have been looking forward to for a while because we have, we have no, we grew up with The Rock, right? We know The Rock, right? And Cody can, you know, the whole thing, Cody has a, let's finish a story. All right, we can finish a story, but there's no time limit on that. Like, your story, we know where it's going to end. And, like, the fact that, like, you know, it was pointing towards this WrestleMania. But seriously, you know, honestly, you're running it back from last year's WrestleMania. This is a, a rematch, you know. But the fact that, like, so many people were outraged that, like, Cody is getting, you know, knocked out of the main event for The Rock is, like, I think it's a generational thing, right? And, then, and remember we talked about when, when Eric was on this show with us. And a lot of the polarization of professional wrestling these days is the like the, the, the new cats, like these guys, like, you know, like, like the younger guys. And they look at guys like, specifically even guys like us, because we're prominent figures in the, in the wrestling discussion. Me, you, Bischoff, Cornette. Me. Russo, Bully Ray, like like we're kind of like the old hat guys, like the way that, that that's what the new school people refer to us as. But we we know like the history of like what you know what we we performed in. We performed during the, the biggest era in professional wrestling, very successful. The Rock was a big part of that. Hogan was a big part of that. Macho, Piper, you know, like everybody, right? So when you can have a generational match like this with a rock against Roman, our generation is looking at that as like, yo, wow, this, yo, this, I'm, I'm all in on that. But these younger cats, like this, this, this Gen Z fan base that never really watched the mid nineties, they're looking at this as like, well, well, you know, they, they don't care. And I'm like, what we see seeing now is a division in fan bases. We're like the older fan base wants to see Rock versus versus Roman. The younger fan base because they're this this young Gen Z. They're always yeah, the victims. Let, like let, let, let me, me finish. Yeah. Let me just finish my thing, and then you, you I'll give you the floor. This younger generation is always like the victims. Cody's a victim. You know he's getting screwed, and they're outraged and they're very vocal about it. Okay, and I just think it's a it's a it's a division where you have a now a vocal part of the audience is emotionally invested because they think Cody got screwed. And they have people like us are like, 
I want to see The Rock versus Roman. Like, you know, like, I want that match to happen eventually. Rock's not getting any younger. And I think that's like, now, now you have to navigate that with the fan base. But it could create a tremendous interest in the product. Even though they were hot before, now it's even hotter. That's the way I look at it. What, 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 what's your take? You know, it's just weird to me, The like our boy who will be on here this week, maybe we can ask him about it, how Con- pop. Conrad, right? Right. He was, like he, was he really like, went all in. I was like, really, Conrad? And then, but he's a friend, was, he's friends with Cody, though. Right. Okay. And then personal, there was a, personal friends with right. Cody. Right. And then I saw this clip of David Lagreca, and I don't know if he right. did it or he's about to do it. He was going to do a rally, <laughs> rally in New York. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I mean, like, you rally for right. like, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah, for yeah, I don't, I, you know, get rushed out of the war. Or, like that. Okay, <laughs> so he's gonna start a rally. This is like, okay, this but wait a minute. Like, you know, right, right, yeah. Yeah, sounds, bro, you guys are old school fans. What are you getting worked up about? Look, to me, the problem with the young generation is they're not looking at business, they're right. looking at a match that they want to see. The owners of WWE have stockholders and you know, and and they want to make as much money as possible. As great a story as Cody and Roman is you're going to get that WrestleMania coverage anyways, but the rock brings it to another level, bro. Another, and that, Cause and that's, everybody knows the rock. Not everybody knows Cody. And, and so, and so you can still do, and you know, last year they thought they had him. this year. They weren't sure. Now they do bro. And he's come on a couple times already, like four times, right. still good on the mic, still blows it off. Still charismatic, still looks good. You know what I'm saying? Still they are the bloodline. Box. There I right. blood there's a good story in there. Let's finish and you can continue with Cody. What's the big and, rush? Well, let me let me tell you, I'll give you the I'll give you the Twitter yeah. slash nerdy right. fan. Here's right. what it is. Rock's not exactly beloved in that section of the fandom. Right now, right. when he shows up, he gets a huge pop because you're there live. You're like, I got to see the rock. Right. He's not meddling when he comes in and it sees like he's meddling with the stories in the card. People get and he's had some bad press recently where he was trying to take over the DCEU and failed and they rebooted it. You know, Black Adam wasn't a hit. He went back to Fast and the Okay, let me just say something about Black Adam. Black Adam was not that great of a movie because I watched it on the airplane. It wasn't good about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you look, they didn't lose money. That movie did not lose money. You can look it up right now. And the other thing is, is that this is the who's a bigger superstar in the in movie than The Rock? I, I, I Cody? tweeted this. I, I, is, I was, is that? I, let me, huh? because I I tweeted this or right. posted this. On X. Right. <laughs> I'm still Jeez. tweeting. Uh, so let me finish. <laughs> no, I'm just answering Conan. It says here that the movie lost fifty to hundred million in its theatrical run. Some say sub four hundred million worldwide means it will lose roughly hundred million. Yeah. yeah, they didn't lose, bro. Go to uh, go right. to go we'll, we'll to flag code for misinformation. No, 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 no. no. Well, I know Rock, Rock has come out and thrown cold water in that and said no with these uh analytics. Okay, no, 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 no. We, go yeah. go to Wikipedia, okay, mm-hmm. and almost at the bottom on the right hand side, it's like a blue shading. Oh, yeah. it'll say projected and how much yeah. they All actually right. made. Because here's here's the here's the point of this is what people don't realize about WrestleMania. Yeah. Okay. WrestleMania. Always, the metrics go up for WrestleMania every year because right. people, like, the bro, there's still fans that have been watching wrestling for years and years and years and years that do not watch the shows every week anymore. They keep in tune, they see the clips and stuff, and but come WrestleMania season, there still are a lot of fans that will gravitate towards the product because they've always watched WrestleMania. Like, you know, just, like just people will... That's their like yearly vacation, their habit sometimes for some fans. They go to WrestleMania every year, but they may never even be like regular what viewers of the show anymore. So when you have WrestleMania, your Super Bowl, you want to draw as many people outside the bubble that don't watch the show anymore to the product because it's going like everybody in the bubble is going to watch WrestleMania. They're invested in it already. Like your your regular viewers, nobody's going to not watch WrestleMania because Cody's not in the main event. They're all still going to watch it. 
You're trying to draw people from out, you know, the, the casual viewers that don't watch it regularly, get as many of them invest in the product as you can. Bro, The Rock, okay, from a social imprint, okay, on, on his, his imprint on, on, on society. The guy's got 396 million Instagram followers, 17 million Twitter followers. Cody has 1.3 and 1.6. Yes, he's popular in the bubble. The current storylines of people say, but bro, you bring The Rock into the picture for WrestleMania as a business person that is invested. The, the TKO people are saying like, yes, Rock, do WrestleMania. We, 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 we've invested a lot of money in this product. Well, it, was his, it was supposedly we, his idea taking... and his call, too, though. But no, but I'm just saying, but he, he's on the board. Okay, it's even if it was, bad. even if it was, Joe, and we don't even know if that to be true, but even if it was, big deal, bro. Right. He's, earned he's earned the right. He's earned the right. He's the rock, bro. And from a well, business standpoint, the, the it's a very good call. Well, who gives a okay. about the wrestling fans? Because I mean, it's the, there's, the you, can find is, just, he, you can find just as many that, that, that like it that don't. Who's right? It's a business decision at the end of the day. Right. And that's not going to be a bad about, match, and the angle won't be bad. So what about these about optics? What about these optics? Like Disco right. saying, we'll get more eyeballs. We'll have the most eyeballs. All right, so we'll have the most eyeballs. What if the most eyeballs are watching your main event get booed out of the major stadium? Doesn't which matter. Is, okay. Bro, like you said. Didn't we see him the, get the booed money, against Hogan? Joe. The money I'm not saying drawn. food like it was I'm saying food, like this stinks. Joe, this sucks. Money, End it. That kind the of The money is yeah. drawn before the match takes place. You're well, just strong because it's WrestleMania as promoter, anyway, though. As a promoter, you do not give it. You just want if it's if it's if it's negative engagement, positive engagement. If it's engagement, that's all you care about because people are engaged. And they're talking about the product, good or if bad. You wanna, if people want to spend money to boo the rock. On social media, said, "Fine, we watch your stuff. Like, if you're if you're the owner of the company and you're like doing this from a promoter standpoint and from a business standpoint, you want as many people invest in the story as you can, negative and positive, because what it does is it creates more division stuff. It creates controversy, creates cash. Eric Bischoff said it, and it's true. You can't argue with it. Okay, it's like it's a proven theory. So if everybody just says say like, well, you're being unfair to Cody. All right. Well, Cody's going to make a pretty penny out of this. Okay. He's mm-hmm. not going to be financially, mm-hmm. you know, hindered. He, him personally is going to come out of this fine, but there's enough people out there over the years that have been fans of this product and invested in it for 30 something years that want to see the rock versus Roman. And like, I'm not going to have a bunch of internet Mark nerds try to that and take it away from those people because they think they know better. And the one thing is the fans don't know better. Okay, bro, I, I can't I can't wait for these the numbers of these show of, of the the Raws and the SmackDowns leading up, they're gonna be exponentially better than they have been. Okay, because this internet mark community and the mark podcasters and stuff are complaining. I bet they're the same. They've cre- they've created you think they're gonna be the same? I bet they'll be the same, yeah. Uh, how much? Uh I don't know, hundred bucks. I bet they're the same c- compared to last year, is what I'm saying. Well, what was the last year? No, no, I, I was going to say, to look I, yeah. I, go look, I, 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 right off the bat, bro, did you see what the, the number was Friday and the, the, the thing for SmackDown? Not yet, no. Okay, the Friday night segment with The Rock and, and with, with Roman and stuff. Yeah, the tremendous point, numbers. 2. Yeah. 6, almost 2.7 million, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. And now, coming off of that, you have j- way more interest. Trust me, the metrics. I'm going to be, from the, I'm from gonna the be on that Conrad LaGreca side where I'm just going to Everything with this, so just, oh, which is good, good for the, which is good for the show. Just, <laughs> just, I just, I, I, let me, let me put it this way. Personally, I don't, I, it doesn't matter to me what the main event was, like, but I see what people's complaints are when you're in the bubble. That ah, this guy's coming from the outside. This isn't what we were building to, and blah blah blah. The other from thing the is, outside, he helped build yeah. that. Place. Smackdown yeah. was named like, after him like, saying I'll lay the SmackDown within, like within these Paul. stories. This yeah. is the rock. Right. <laughs> yeah. The rock has been invested in, in the WWE storylines. People don't forever. see him as like, like, a, as like a home home guy anymore. They see him as an outsider. Okay, well that's you know? well, well some people do. Okay? Right. Okay, but there's a percentage of fans that do. And they'll be and they'll the, that percentage of fans, because they're like they don't understand business, are going to scream at the promotion. 
we don't want this and stuff and then, well the people that want it are going to be like sit back up all right well you guys are complaining and stuff and then, you're not going to ruin it for us we'll still watch it we'll still and that's what happens when when you when you're from from the promoter's perspective okay you have to do the Rock versus Roman right now, and plus two, the fact it's created so much controversy and keep driving the country, bro. Nobody's going to turn this off. Everybody's yeah. going. To, people that are willing to complain get even more invested. And I hope it's good. You know, I'm not saying that I wanted to. I hope it's good. I do, bro. It's going to be a toxic. It's going to be a very toxic atmosphere in Philly. Big time. They're going to be booing. To, we we don't know what the atmosphere is going to be. We never. We didn't know what the atmosphere is going to be for Rock versus Hogan. Like, who would have thought? that the Rock versus Hogan reaction was going to be like it was. You never know. And the fact is that we don't know exactly how it's going to be creates interest. Controversy creates cash, and that's what... When you own the company, that's what you want. As many people and eyeballs on it as you can to generate interest in the product. And And let's not not forget to... Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead, finish. Go ahead. What's your take? The optics on it are good because man, the optics, they've quite the according, but, 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 but that's your optics. No, no I'm saying what I what they're, okay. they're, they quieted down the other talk about WWE recently with the whole Vince thing. That's good. I don't, good. Think, I don't, but that is the, the, you know, a, I, I don't, what? I don't think that was an intention because Russo was on this rant. He that said, that's said the that only too, they yeah. did this to shut up everybody about Vince, Vince McMahon. I'm like, dude, they're going to be doing a press conference on Thursday with all the mainstream media there in the middle of Super Bowl week, because the Super Bowl's here in Vegas, they're going right into the heart of all the media. Like, you don't think they're going to be asking about this? Oh, about yeah. Vince? It's like, it's not. It's actually, it's literally bringing more attention to Vince McMahon from, from, because the mainstream media is going to be there, and like, they're, they're going to try to put their spin on it. It's not like the dirt cheap people stuff. It's created a tremendous amount of interest. The Rock is one of the most popular people on the planet Earth. He's been injected in the story in, in WrestleMania, and the smart mark community and the dirt sheet guys and the smart mark podcasters are all trying to. Yeah, but you and know, I, motor, like like you, I said before, Disco, Go ahead. he's a legend in WWE, even if people see him as an outsider. All right? right. He's still coming back. He doesn't have to. And, bro, he's actually blood with R- Roman Reigns. Yeah. Isn't, I mean, Put any of that into in that this might be the last I mean, time we see The Rock ever in WWE. Okay, because, Cody still got some years. What's the big? He's gonna win the belt I because here's he's the, no, no, the no. They might not even wrestle for the belt. <laughs> That's true too. Yeah. For like for, for another like the, the the head of the tribal the tribe or something like whatever. Yeah. But but here's the thing: as a wrestling fan, you're also kind of mad because you think that you the the you know let's finish a story. I know the finish to the story and I want to pop when the story's finished and I knew what the finish was. Yeah. You don't know what the finish is to the rock and Roman story is. And I think people are upset kind of also that they don't know what's going to happen in that because they know what's going to happen if Roman wrestles Cody. Cody. Well, they thought win. they knew last year. <laughs> well, they, 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 they know what's going to happen this year because it's, it's kind of obvious. So yeah. now what they're doing is you're throwing a curveball. They're not giving the fans the obvious finish. And I think, and that I think is creating more interest. And like the ratings, bro. Let me let's be honest. If the Rock had never come on TV, what do you think the ratings would have been going into WrestleMania? Same as previous. Same yeah. As, yeah. Uh, so, so say it would have been the same. Mm-hmm. With the, with this story now that's that's generated organically, tremendous more interest. I, I mean, in my opinion, I, and I don't think you can even argue with that. You know. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100 with my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and Keep It 100. Boom!